Hello YouTube, this is Krosama, and here we have one of the Figma lines of Black Rock Shooter. Looks really cool, so I'm just going to go ahead and do a review of it, and uh, I'm going to show you everything that comes with it and all that other good stuff. But uh, first, let's go ahead and back her up and take a look at the box. Alright, I'm going to zoom out, and here's the box, looks really cool and all. Yeah, and you can see it comes with the DVD, that was really awesome. And box looks really awesome. On the back, you can see her in various poses and such. Some really cool facial expressions. And all that other stuff. And here is her on the side. And she's also on the top. So, that's really cool though. So, what comes with the kit? You're going to get this little Figma bag to where you can put all the goodies and stuff in there. You're going to get two chains, which is kind of weird. I didn't know what the hell to do with it. And they didn't really show you what to do with it, so, you know, here's some chains, yay! Pretty sure you just wrap her up or something like that and do some crazy hentai poses or something, whatever you want. And you're going to get the uh, the rock shooter, which is really cool. So, I just have the hand on there attached. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to put it on there. You're going to get various hands, which are really cool. Some opened, some closed fist. Some more open, some uh, grasp hands to put the sword or the uh, black rock uh, shooter, or the rock shooter in there. And she's going to come with two, well actually three different faces. She got the uh face and the what the hell face. So, And uh, the face I have on her is her little battle face, that open face. And she's going to have two different sets of hair, just normal hair and uh, the one with the flame eye. So, let's go ahead and put all that aside and take a look at the Figma itself. Alright, so let's see. Also, you can get the, the black sword, which is really cool. So, put that aside as well. Take it off the stand real quick. And just looking at the articulation, you know, the, hand, the arms can move various places. 360, what, what the, and what the stuff, you know, a little salute. Hey, hey. Alright, and, uh hand can rotate, go up and down, you know, hey, I like that stuff. So, and here's the face, the battle face, and then the, uh, the really cool fire eye. Her hair has some articulation too, they can kind of move about a boot, and uh, yeah, so it's really nice, I really like the, the flowing of it, the flowiness. The back of the cape, uh, well not cape, but uh, jacket, trench coat thing, has some articulation as well, it can kind of twirl and twist about, and looks really cool, so you can have her like, just coming down or something like that, so, various poses with that. Um, the hips also has some articulation, if I can show you, if you can see it. So she can wiggle her hips back and forth, side to side. Uh, legs can come up about that much. Back that much. Oh, she got some black on you. Okay. And it can just come out. Can't really do a split. You know, uh, can move that much. And foot can move around. Back and forth. You know, a little side to side. But some overall good uh, poses, which are really cool. And uh, the sword fits in pretty decent. Oops, just dropped it. Alright, back. Alright, you can just slide in there. Uh, it does hold pretty well, I think. Uh, sometimes it'll come out like a little loose, but you gotta kind of just really tighten it in there. And you'll be good. I mean, it's not a toy. I don't, I don't think it's a toy, so you shouldn't be like playing around with and just going sha 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 all that other stuff so all right so just fit it in there pretty nicely and there you go she's holding her sword you got your sword yeah okay and uh it's just pretty much take the other hand off you could put this in either hand but um i prefer the right hand for some reason it looks a lot cooler so you just put it right on top on that little bar right there and then you're good, but it doesn't really hold well, I mean, because it is pretty heavy. So it's going to kind of fall off sometimes. you got to, like, position it, real, like, 
you know, really good and whatnot. And uh, honestly, this hand isn't really the best hand to use it in. Uh, this is the one that has the rotating uh, wrist joint. So you just kind of take that off. There you go. And then get find the one that has the straight. Uh, I think this is it. Yeah. The one that has just the straight little wrist that doesn't rotate. It pretty much works the best, at least in my opinion. So just snap that right on, like so. Plug it in. That's a little tricky. A little tricky, girl, yeah. Yeah, you tricky. I got you. I got you. Alright. Probably it'd be better to put the hand on before you actually put it onto the thingamabobber. Alright, so we got that. Alright, so yeah, it just went on by itself. So, put it back on and bam, sis. Now she's holding the gun, which is pretty cool. So, that's really it about her. She got all looking all cool and stuff. Alright, so, and right here, there's a little hole if you can see it right there. You just plug. Stand right inside, get it all nice and fit, and there you go. So, that's pretty much my short and sweet review of the Figma. The, the movies, oh, not the movie, but the OVA that comes with it is really cool. I mean, pretty sure most of y'all have already seen it, but it's a really nice OVA, and um, I'm watching this series right now, uh, about, I think I'm on episode 7. But uh, it's a really good series, really good OVA, and really good Figma, at least in my opinion. So um, if you have the chance, go out and buy it. I mean, uh, I paid $2,100 for it, so it's not that bad of a price. Um, so that's going to be about it, guys. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe. And uh, I should be doing some more Figma series uh, videos shortly enough as I go out and buy more. So that's going to be about it. I'll see you all later.